I still look rough. I'm about to put on my makeup. I just showered. I didn't wash my hair. I got this dress the other day at Target. It's really cute and I love that it's like, it's showing up more like orange-ish on camera, but it's really like a pretty pink color. Um, either way, I'm making myself some oatmeal. This is like my favorite oatmeal. It's Bob's Red Mill. I buy the gluten-free one. I don't have to eat gluten-free, but I just happened to buy this one because it was all that they had that was brown sugar and maple one time, and I loved it, so I've just been buying it ever since. But it's so easy, so all I do is just fill it up hot water, and I always get a lot of questions about this kettle, which was actually my mom's, and she gave it to me because I needed. It's from Mackenzie Childs. I'll link it down below. Stir this up a little bit. So all you have to do, pour the hot water in and put the lid back on and just let it sit for a few minutes. And I'll probably put some blueberries in that because that's really good. And I'm running across the river today because I have to drive there to go to Whole Foods to do our grocery shopping. Um, so I planned on making tacos last week, but I never got around to it. So I'm going to make them this week. So I'm going to get the crock pot out and I'll show you how I make chicken tacos. But... I feel like I've done this before. I'm just really basic. Like we, I just find what works and I try to repeat recipes for the most part. Okay, so I just have this crock pot. Um, it's the all clad one, it's so good. Um, and then I just put the two chicken breasts in there and this is the seasoning I use. It looks, used to look like this. It's not focusing. Either way, this brand, they just changed the packaging so I just pour it all over. And diesel's drinking his water. I probably won't um, add any water right now, but later, if it needs water, I'll add a little bit of water. But I'll just cook it on low for six hours. Okay, Jay came home right when I was filming the taco thing, but I just put it on low for eight hours and put the lid on, and then when I get home, if it needs a little bit of water or something, I will add some, but usually it kind of creates its own juice. Um, and then I was just saying that this taco sauce, the hatch taco sauce, is the best. I'm usually not somebody that uses taco sauce, but for some reason I bought it one day and it was just, now I like have to have it whenever I'm eating a taco. Um, but the oatmeal is done. I'm gonna get a water, go eat my oatmeal, get ready. It's almost, it has a little bit of water in there, but I put some blueberries in there. And I am going to give it a few more minutes to like soak in and I'm going to get water and then I'm gonna get ready. So I can go grocery shopping and running a few errands. Hey guys, okay, so I just left Barnes & Noble and I'm about to run into Whole Foods. I just reminded myself that I needed to vlog. I feel like I'm the worst vlogger ever, but I love watching vlogs so much and honestly, they're like my favorite type of content to film. Um, I think it's just because I like watching vlogs, but um, I feel like I've, my life is like very boring compared to most people's but um, I'm getting ready to go in and buy some groceries I'm starving I ate that um, oatmeal and oatmeal just does not stick with me long oatmeal and cereal are just not I don't know I'm like the kind of person that either I wake up and I'm not hungry or I wake up and I'm like ready for like a full-on cheeseburger I don't know and this morning I just was so hungry um, so I'm gonna try to get something in Whole Foods that I can take home and eat um, and then I'm just gonna try to spend the day getting some house stuff done except for I have some photos to reshoot and I do have some photos to shoot but either way it's 92 degrees it's like so hot and I don't I hate to complain because I love the summer I love the warm weather I really love the fall and the spring like late spring early fall I love when it's like nice and warm like you can go to the pool you can go to the beach but like in the evening it's cooler it's not like 800 gajillion degrees so I'm not complaining I promise because I hate winter winter is just the most depressing time of the year so that's that. Also, on Instagram, I've gotten a lot of questions about these sunglasses. I bought these in St. Bart's and they are from Louis Vuitton, so I'll link them down below just in case you have any questions. Also, I changed my outfit. I just wasn't feeling the dress today. I love that dress, and some days I wanna wear a dress, and some days I just wanna wear my black Target t-shirt and denim shorts and sandals. So that's what today, what we're doing. So I've said so a thousand times. So I'm gonna go into Whole Foods and do some grocery shopping. Okay, you guys, it's been a few hours now, and 
I'm home from the grocery store and I'm making dinner. Um, and so, like I said, we're having tacos. So I went ahead and I shredded the taco meat and I wanted, they were a little bit dry, so I went ahead and added some water. I'll show you what it looks like now. So this is the chicken tacos, what they look like after I shredded them. The chicken just fell right apart and I added a little bit of water, um, put the lid back on. I think they were on eight hours on low or seven hours, one of the two. I'm about to put in the taco shells. These are just the shells I bought. I'm like very famous for buying the 365 brand. Um, so taco shells, have some lettuce. Actually the head of lettuce that I bought was bad even though I just bought it today. Um, but I had like a romaine salad mix that I had bought. So I chopped up some of that tomatoes from our garden and then a little avocado it's a little bit brown but i had had the other half of that the other day and i'm gonna warm up some refried beans and grab the sour cream and cheese and we have a taco night i just realized i had not shown this little cutie the whole vlog what i'm going to get into medicine so that's what we're gonna do now and then i'll be back you still have an hour until dinner time okay like I said, I'm going to get Diesel's medicine now. He, um, if you have followed for a while, you know that he has a heart condition. So um, he has to take like three different medicines. Oh, sorry, I'm getting in the car. He takes three different medicines every day. Um, so two of them come, I get them at Walgreens. And then the other one comes in the mail from... I believe it's called Vet Source, which honestly is the best. And last time I ordered his Frontline and Heart Guard for there, and they sent us like, um, I think I ordered like six months, and they sent us two extra months for free. It's literally the best website. I'll link it down below. Um, but I just, like, I have a login from my vet. That's how we did it because one of his medicines was just like so much and they could get a different kind um, from them and I it, I have it on like auto ship so it just comes straight to our house. It's it's just amazing. So if you have a pet that has to take medicine or if you just like to order heart guard and frontline and all of that stuff, I definitely check that out and see if your vet is hooked up with vet source because my experience with them has just been really great. So I'm going to get his medicine now. And then I think I'm gonna, Jay went to a fire meeting and then I'm gonna wash my face and crawl into bed and read a book or watch some TV. I felt like I was cheating you on this vlog and I wanted it to be like decent. Anyways, I thought I would talk about some of like the skincare products that I've been using because I switched it up a little bit. Um, my skin has been broken out quite a bit lately, but I think it's just hormonal breakouts. Um, I can always tell when it's like a hormonal based breakout because of where I get the breakout at. Let me grab one thing. So I'm a big fan of Dr. Barbara Sturm and this is my favorite cleanser, the foaming cleanser. I also have the enzyme cleanser, which I love, but I don't use that every day because it's more exfoliating. And I wanted to repurchase this, but it was sold out on Net-A-Porter and I always place so many Net-A-Porter orders, I hated to like order it from someplace different. Um, so I decided to try the Tata Harper Purifying Cleanser and I'm gonna say I'm not 100% sure, you can see how much I've used. And I've literally only had this for like two weeks, if that. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed at how quickly it's getting used up. But I think that's because it doesn't um, like foam and I need like bubbles, I need foam in my mind to like say that it's getting clean. But I'll share with you in a second what I'm doing to um, kind of combat that and make myself feel like it's like actually cleaning. Um, I did actually purchase this Evom cleanser. And the reason why I purchased this, which I still, I'm like so unsure about all this because I purchased these at the same time and it's not fair because I was so used to using this. I can't really decide if I like this or not because I don't, think I'm 100% in love with this cleanser just because it doesn't foam. But onto this, um, to me this, it smell. it has like a very interesting smell. To me it smells like an herbal applesauce. I know that's like the weirdest um, kind of thing. Let me show you what it smells. Oh, of course it hasn't been doing that. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's just a balm, it's a cleansing balm. And it comes with this like muslin cloth. So what you do is you put it all over and then you wipe it off with this, with like you wet this and wipe it off. Um, and the reason why I decided to get an oil-based cleanser like to remove my makeup 
because I'm not really a fan of those, is because I've read like numerous articles this summer about how if you're applying sunscreen to your like to your face, that a regular like water-based cleanser will not break down the sunscreen. So basically you won't be washing the sunscreen off. So that's why I got this, just because I've been wearing a ton of sunscreen this summer and I just wanted to make sure that I was getting all the sunscreen off that I put on my face. I started breaking out when we went on vacation and I had a feeling that it was because I wasn't getting like my skin clean from the sunscreen. So that's that. Then I cleanse, so I use this and this is like wet. <laughs> So it's like cold and wet, but what I've been doing is using this sponge. It's from Teamy. I got a couple to try. This one is the green tea one, and this is a chamomile, and I also have a lavender, but um, I really love this. It's such a soft sponge. It's really so soft, so you just warm it, um, put it in warm water. When it's wet, it like expands. When you first get it, it's hard. Um, and then what I do is I put my cleanser all over my face or you can put a little bit on your sponge and just, I, I use like circular motions. And for me, I feel like this gets my skin clean. Um, so this isn't foaming, but this is like ex gently exfoliating, which is something that I've been trying to do more often is just exfoliate gently every single day versus like using intense scrubs. So that's that. Basically, this I need to buy another one of. I'm literally down to like scraping it out of like the jar like this. It will no longer pump, but I'm still a huge fan of the Augustinus Bader, the cream. And because I'm so low on it, I'm only using it in the morning time and I just need to bite the bullet and order another one and see if this is back in stock. And at nighttime, I have been using the Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. I've heard a ton of people talk about this. I'm giving it a good test. I don't know how much I've used. I'm not totally, so many people love the scent of this, but to me it just smells like an herbal oil. Um, and I, I have like mixed feelings. When I put it on, I feel like I don't love the scent of it and it feels so oily. And like when I rub my hands together and press it on my face, it's like super hot. Um, but when I wake up in the morning, my skin is not oily. My skin feels good, it feels hydrated, it's not greasy, there's nothing sitting on top of it. So I have to say like at night when I put it on, it seems uncomfortable, but when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels so good. So for me, that's like, I guess the gist of what it feels good. Um, and then, you know, I still use this little thing. But I thought I would walk you through that. I'm not gonna do it just because I make such a mess. Um, and if you wanna see like a full skincare routine, like of me actually using the products, even though I basically just talked you through it, definitely let me know and I'd be happy to do that. I have someone who's like walking around. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, you wanna say hi to yourself? You wanna say hi to yourself? Either way, um, so that's where we're at with that. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog because I wanna wash my face. I am so tired. Hello, are you standing in here in the dark? Are you in the dark all by yourself? He loves this closet. Hello. Hello. Hi, um, what's going on? Oh, he loves this beautiful white carpet, which I don't think I've shown you guys this because I need to do an entire closet tour, which I promise is coming. However, we got this beautiful, impractical white carpet that I regretted the moment it was put down, but I have to say it has been pretty good. We try to keep this little one out of here. Love your belly because he leaves lots of unknown stains and hair and all kinds of things, but we love him so much, so he kind of comes in here anyway, right? Because you run the house, because you're the angel. <gasps> you're the baby, you're the baby. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, kiss from Worm and a good night for me because I'm so tired, I wanna put on my pajamas and go to bed. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.